Hello, 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 hello. And welcome to my very last, my very, very last online workshop. today. There we go. So this will be my last, last online workshop. Well, my last live one, that's for sure. Um, not to worry, though. You can always catch up uh, on my catch up one. Hence, catch up. You can always catch up on my channel at any time. Um, it's still Bugs Week. Still Bugs Week. So we'll just finish off the bugs. And today we're going to do a bee. Um, I'd just like to thank you all for joining me um, on my last day. It's the last one, last one, last one. So we'll just give it a couple more minutes for a few more people to join and then we will call it a day. Um, I've got a bit something a bit different today. We're going to be doing doodling, but today it will be slightly different. And that's how we will continue. <laughs> so let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of this one because it's all about catch up, but it's the last catch up one. There we go, get rid of that. Okay. And Barbara, if you're watching, Barbara, I know you didn't want it coloured, but I've been gradually colouring it in. I think you can see it. And as you can see, there's some of my doodles, and my squirrels going around here. Um, so I should be starting this one again. And I won't be colouring it because I don't think you wanted it coloured. So uh, I fi I'll finish that one off and um, do something else with it. I might keep that one myself. Or I might put it in the art trail next year, which sadly was didn't go ahead this year. So we will just have to see. Anyway, it's time. So as always, you can look at uh, my stuff on my website, which is to be Robinson Artist, SAA, which is Society for All Artists. Um, this is a quick 20 minute workshop and the last one, but you can always go back and recap. Um, as I always say, take care. I'm here, you're there, so I can't be responsible for anything you do. So please don't doodle on the cat when it's asleep. And we'll start off, it's going to be a bit relaxing, so we'll start off just rolling back those shoulders. Taking a deep breath, and relaxing, wiggle those fingers and toes so the toes don't feel left out, pull those shoulders back again, and we'll start. So remember, um, doodles are your paint palette. So I'm just bring this one forward. And again, nice and close. Ooh, wind's picking up, just shut that. So it might get a little bit hot in here. Here we go. Is that okay? That sounds a little better. So, if this is my um, email address, if you want to get in touch, to be robinsonartist at gmail.com. If you want to contact me for anything else or you need any help, you let me know. I'll just keep in touch. It's nice. So, and if I don't reply, it's because I haven't got it. Uh, you can always find me on Facebook. That seems to be a bit more reliable. So, today, we are going to do something other than doodles. We are going to do something that I have done. I haven't got the card with me. It's upstairs. I could have got it, but I forgot. And that is, in fact, I'm going to get it. Count to ten, really, really slowly. Okay, so you can see I wasn't prepared for that, but I just suddenly realised I can show you something I've done, and that is this. Can you see it? So it is a word. It says love, and it just says love, 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 love. So this is one I made earlier for my husband for, I think it was Valentine's Day. Yes, so just the word love. So you can doodle with words and letters. Just went up and down the stairs, that shows how long fit I am. So, I sometimes use my logo. And I just do this all over the place. And it's actually 
a little a little bee. But there are other things you can do. You can do your name, but if you do it in different ways, different ways, see? Do you remember doing those things at school? Do you remember a thing called Vision On? And when they turned it sideways, yeah? You ended up with ended up with something like that, and they turned it into a bug. So they did. Uh -oh. It's very difficult to do it backwards. Something like that, vision on. And they had this bug that bounced everywhere and that was on um, heart, heart attack or something like that. Uh, vision on and it was part of their gallery and it would jump everywhere. So they actually doodled with words as well. I don't know if you remember vision on, I love that program with Tony Hart. And they always had a gallery. So, something like that. And it was a little bug and I loved it. Right, so we can use words. So if you look at this it, and my card here, you can see that just the same word again and again and again. You just have to be a bit more uh, thoughtful. So today I thought we would do a B because that's to be. And um, bees are they're like a big ball, aren't they? Nice big ball. Okay, and their wings are sort of out here. We're going to do a simplified version, and they have a head like that. Okay, we're doing a very simple version of a bee, and they have stripes. And I thought we could do the stripes. Now I'm going to pretend that this is pencil, and I thought we could do the stripes in different colours. Now obviously. Obviously, I haven't got yellow because a yellow ball would be difficult. So I thought we could use green and pretend it's yellow. And I thought there's no reason why you can't use the colour. Okay, so it's looking a bit furry. So if I take this one out, and this is where I want to finish. Okay, so I've just written the word green. It just says green. Now, the black line, why don't I write bumble? It should be lowercase because it looks better. And it actually... When you're doing something like this, you need to try, as I had here, try and not have the same word going love, love, love right next to each other. If you look here, I've tried to muddle it up a little bit. So I wouldn't start Bumblebee here. I'd perhaps try L-E. And I'll take this out because we want to actually make it look a bit furry. Right, if you can see, you can see I'm trying to do it as a curve, so it does look as if it's curved. And I think I might do one more, it's one more black one, I think so. I think I need to get down to about here, so. So that says bumblebee, not just bumblebee, all the way around. 
And that just says green. And what can we put here? We're here we can have anything to do with bumblebees. We could have honeybee, which I might do in black here. But what about if we put sting? Sting. Sting. Okay, again, it just looks slightly different. And I want to come down to about there, so I think I need to just guide myself a little bit. And when I finish is what I start here. And that way you can adjust that the letters won't match. So I won't have sting, sting right next to each other. So the S won't be next to another S. So I think the next one, I might write, we were going to write, um, we've got bumblebee. How about um, honey? Shall I write honey? Okay. We're getting the idea. Just take out that. Okay, so you can you see it's looking quite furry, isn't it, with all these squiggly lines? And just to make it curve round, I'm making it slightly bigger here. So I'll just do one more. Getting bigger, getting smaller. Okay, I think that's a bit too big. So. Okay, so the next one would be green. So this one was green, sting. What else can we do? I think um, flower. I think the word flower would be nice. So can you see how this is coming together? Oh, it's quite fun, this one. Okay. Again, where I finish, I start here. So I've finished on the W, I'll start ER here. It's just like laying the floor that you do. Keep it small here, get bigger here. Um. And get smaller. So can you see it's still curving? Um, I perhaps I should have used a bit more pencil, but I didn't want to try and erase it. So we've got bumblebee, we've got honey, and what should we put here? I have to think about that one. Let's look at the wings. What if we used the word wings? Because it is what it is. Okay, so we could use the word wings. W I N G S. So we'll put a bit of a squirrel on that and now uh, it might come out quite well. So again here, W wings. I'm just gonna write the word all over the place. As you can see, it's it's making the wing look a bit uh Thin and perhaps a, a little bit, I could curl that round. I don't want to curl it too much. It's trying to make the, the, it look um, delicate, that's the word, delicate. Okay. And last few. Okay, so I've just filled it with words. i just filled it with words. So we've got, like I said, green, sting, and flower. We've got bumblebee, honey. Should I just do bee? I'm just going to do bee. 
How am I do my name? Again, I'm doing it small here, getting bigger. Okay, there's a bit, a little bit of fun down there. Right, I think I need to do something similar here. So I think I might do wings over here in the same thought. Okay. Do one here. And one this way. Can you see? It's just making it look quite interesting, I think. And one here. Okay, so it's quite a, an interesting way to do it, but you could actually give messages. And I'm sure there was um, a way that people used to do messages um, in writing that was so fine around the edge, you didn't really know it was there. And if you look at your credit card, because I used to work in a credit card factory, if you look at your credit card, you'll find that the lines around some of the logos are not... Oh, hi, Lisa. Uh, the, the, lo uh, the, word, the, the line around some... Um, credit cards are not the logo is not a line it's actually words so it's the same sort of scenario instead of using a color or a doodle use a word and that's where that came from this idea and also I've got the words bumblebee honey it could be relevant to the design or you could use just the colors and instead of writing this you could write black, green, blue, and that looks interesting. Or you could really freak people out and do this where you're doing. <laughs> you're using different colours for the words and it, it doesn't match. So that can freak, freak people out. So that's quite an interesting way to do it as well. So I think we'll just finish off the head now. So we've done wings, we've done sting, we've done flower. We've done honey, we've done bumble, and I think the top we'll just do B. We'll just do B. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go round in a circle, similar to the way I've done this. I shall just do it around here just to give you an idea of what it looks like. It's a bit difficult um, writing upside down. And as we go round, you'll see it's a bit of fun, really, that's all. But it'll give you an idea that you don't have to use, you don't have to use um, an actual doodle. You can use letters, words. On some of them, I've actually just used a letter or arrows. That's another thing I've done. I've, uh, I've used uh, just arrows. So I've done a doodle and I've just done arrows all over the place like this. Some of them I've made long, some of them I've made bigger. So there's all these different ways that you can um, doodle without actually doing a doodle. You're using icons, you can use exclamation mark, maybe you're trying to make a statement and in that statement your doodle could be using exclamation mark so you're getting your thought across. I poor little bee here. I think he's rather cute. <laughs> anyway, so that's really us done. I'd just like to say thank you um, for watching, and I'll just put. Uh, I'll just do it so you can see. It. If you do want to contact me, all one word.
So it's Debbie Robinson Artist at Gmail. Hi, Debbie, it's Kira and Kyle. Hi, guys. Thank you for coming along to say goodbye. Um, so if you want to contact me, that's my art email. Um, or you can go on Debbie Robinson Artist and pick up my Facebook page or my Instagram account or my Twitter or my YouTube channel if you want to catch up on the last 20 odd um, workshops that we've done. So without further ado, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for joining me. Um, and I do hope you keep doodling and stay safe out there. Don't forget to drink lots of water, keep hydrated because that's your transportation system for your toxins and your goodness. So if you have a good blood flow, then all your toxins can get out. I'm waving back, I'm waving back. Um, all your toxins can get washed away and it helps turn and move around and get all those goodness into your muscles and into your lungs and everything. Uh, lots of vitamin C, get in the sunshine, good vitamin D, uh, keeps your immune system up and it's very good for your lungs. Okay, so uh, very good for the respiratory system is sunshine. So get out there and try and get into the sun. Um, until we meet again, until I do it again. Anyway, keep in contact. Thank you very much and yeah, love you lots. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye. Love you. Love you. Thank you for joining me. Bye.